Students should definitely uh, look into the beef industry just because there's a very large variety of jobs. It doesn't quite have the integration uh, that we see in some of the other industries. You know, we still have a heavy cow-calf segment, um, smaller operations in this part of the world. There are larger cow operations, particularly when we go west into lands that are not suitable for row crop production. Okay, where they're really destined for grass production, and, and so we see some big herds out there. And some of those herds will attract uh, students, okay, for employment. Uh, the other phase that, that we see probably more demand for students is in the feedlot industry. I've had the opportunity to, to work out in some Texas and Kansas feed yards before in my, in my career. I've had spent some time out there and just getting to work with those producers. You know, the beef industry is still growing strong. And it takes uh, people that are trained in nutrition and, and management and, and a whole host of skills. They're even hiring guys that help help some of these cattle operations that are so big and have such a wide uh, uh, variety of people working in that system, putting people out there that teach them how to, from the business aspect, how to manage people, how to put them together, how to, how to really promote yourself. I think a secondary area is the, the service industry that, that supplies goods and services to the beef industry. There's anything from working for a land co on the animal health side to um, you know being a salesman for a product, being the scientist behind making that product. You could go ag law and there's a lot of legislative opportunities that people don't always think about where they're protecting their producers, beef, you know, any type of livestock producer. I'd say in the beef industry, there is need for vets, uh, large, just large animals in general. Um, there's not a whole lot of vets around anymore. Most of the vets we're using are getting into their 50s and 60s and they probably don't want to bring on a whole lot of, of new clients. Um, so there's, there's definitely a demand um, for, for the large animal side. So I think a big hole in the industry that people don't maybe look at for employment is definitely kind of the meat science processing side of things. One thing on the nutrition side that vets don't have a lot of experience with that are writing the scripts are the VFDs we're facing this year uh, as far as we can't use medication in, in any rations or diets without having some type of prescription rope. Uh, that's really where a nutritionist comes in. So I, I've seen a big demand for nutritionists out there now. You know, there's still a, certainly a big need for steaks and hamburgers and everything else. So um, if you have your heart setting on living in Indiana, working in the beef industry can be challenging. But if, if you're willing to relocate and try something new, which I would strongly encourage, um, move west, my friends.